Welcome to the bustling capital of England where some of the most prestigious events take place and this time around I'm here to attend Astor Guardian Global Nursing Awards 2023 where some of the best and exceptional nurses have come from around the world. Welcome to London! While the doctors are the brain of the healthcare system, nurses are the heart and the soul. They indeed are the unsung heroes who are so crucial for the well-being and the health of the patients. And they definitely deserve the recognition and appreciation. Don't you agree? And so here we have Aster DM Healthcare who is taking this wonderful initiative of acknowledging their contribution in the healthcare industry and rewarding world's best nurse with the prize money of $250,000 through Aster Guardian Global Nursing Awards, the top nursing award in the world with the highest prize money. So it's really important for us to understand how much admin work they do, how much clinical work they do, how much caring work they do. They, they're not well paid in a lot of countries, and some they are, but a lot, most of the world it's not. So I think the whole idea was to make it sizable, to make it powerful, and make sure that uh, it, it kind of draws attention to uh, the price itself will make you draw attention and hopefully uh, get more attention into the entire journey for nurses. The entries, in fact, have been from over 202 countries with over 52,000 applicants. The shortlisting process happened by a panel of experts who are serving or have served major global organizations around the world like WHO, NHS, ICN, UN and Ministry of Health. In fact, the winner of last year's award, which means World Best Nurse of 2022, used $250,000 prize money to expand her school in Tuba, Kenya. After winning the Asta Guardian Global Nursing Award, my, time, my life changed positively. I was able to turn my dreams into reality. The world's top nurses who've been shortlisted have been flown into London. And this year, the shortlisted names include... I'm Michael Joseph Dino from the Republic of the Philippines. I'm Christine Maria Sami from Kenya, Africa. Oh, namaskar. I'm Shanti Teresa Lakra. I belong to Nicobar Island and this is in India. My name is Teresa Teresa Fraga, I'm from Portugal. My name is Jinsi and I'm from Ireland. Hi, I'm Lillian Yu, the Chief Nurse of Refus Hospital, Singapore. I'm Maggie Shepherd and I'm representing the United Kingdom. My name is Gloria Ceballos, I am from Panama, Panama City. Hi, my name is Wilson Fungameza from the United Republic of Tanzania. Hi, I'm Kathy Cribben Pierce and I am the representative from the UAE for the Aster Global Nursing Awards. Well, I would have to say that travel and memories are one of the best gifts you can give to anyone. While we wait to know who wins the Best Nurse Award, it's time to explore London. And this time, I'm going to be going on a walking tour with all the exceptional nurses from around the world. So let's go. A walking tour in London is a fantastic way to know the city's rich history, iconic landmarks and vibrant neighbourhoods. We walked in central London from Big Ben to the London Eye and to the Borough Market. It's truly really a dream come true for our caregivers who spend most of their times in the hospital. लंदन आने का मेरा हमेशा से ख्वाब था और मैं आज यहां आ गई हूं I'm really excited to just be a part of all the events that are happening over the next couple of days and to meet my colleagues and network and talk with individuals from across the world it's a fantastic opportunity It's such an honor to be back in London I spent 14 years working in my career here as a nurse walking the streets of London is a massive honor because we're here back where for me it, it all began and that, that's a great honour. Finally, the evening is here when the world's best nurse is going to win 2,50,000 USD. Not just the winner, I think this is a great moment 
for nurses around the world. The award recognizes the significant contribution of the nurses in the healthcare. I am at Queen Elizabeth II Center, so let's go in for an exciting evening ahead. truly celebrates the spirit of nursing and inspire future caregivers to continue making the world a better place to live in. Each finalist had such a heartwarming story to tell. There are uh, community leaders who acted as the intermediator between me and uh, the tribes. I used sketch and sign language myself to explain them the uh, better understanding the concept of modern medicine. I'm so happy to announce the winner of this year's Astral Guardians Global Nursing Award, Margaret Helen Chabot. The World's Best Nurse Award was won by UK's Margaret Helen Shepherd as her work in monogenic diabetes was truly appreciated. I'd like to say a special thank you to Professor Andrew Hattersley, who leads the monogenic diabetes team in Exeter and has been a true inspiration. I'd like to thank my family, especially my children, for supporting my career and their understanding when I was away from home. had to do some crowdfunding to be able to offer free genetic testing for anyone across the world diagnosed with diabetes below the age of six months. So I'll be able to put some money into that to ensure that we can continue to do that for the countries who can't afford to access that testing otherwise. Well, there must have been only one winner tonight, but you would agree nurses from around the world are winners for life. They work long hours and take so much care of all the patients. And I'm so glad that finally Astrid DM took the initiative to give all the nurses the much needed recognition that they deserve. What a great event it was. And with that, my trip to London comes to an end. I'm going back with some amazing memories. Until next time, it's me, Kamya Chani, signing off.